Hey, what's up guys? This is Dom from MacMixing.com and today I want to show you how to use Siri in iOS 6. There's quite a few new features with Siri and you may not know about them all, so I want to give everybody a little rundown of how Siri works on the iPhone 4S or potentially the new iPhone that's coming out this fall with iOS 6 involved. So let's check out some of the features, one of which is being able to look up good movie, whether that's a movie around your area or it's just a good movie that Siri suggests. So let's have Siri find us a good movie. Find me a good movie. Checking for movies. I found quite a number of movies. I've sorted them by quality. All right, so as you can see here, we have a list of different movies sorted by quality. I don't know if I'd put Jaws at the top of the list, but as you can see, we have a bunch of different movies here. You can go into the movie, you can find out more information about the movie, a uh, little summary, an actual rating from Rotten Tomatoes, the directors, the actors, all kinds of stuff like that, and you have it laid out in this nice little image here. So let's go back here. Let's try to find a movie in my area. Find me a good movie playing tonight. As you can see, she's getting my location. I'm looking for movies. I found several movies playing tonight a bit far from Phoenix. I've sorted them by quality. So as you can see, we have a huge list of movies that are actually playing by me right now. So uh, let's look at this. Here we have The Dark Knight Rises. You can actually watch a trailer right there. I'm not going to play the trailer because uh, copyright stuff, but I will open it up real quick just to show you how it, how it interfaces with Siri. So if you click play trailer, it'll pop up like this in a window. And we're just going to dismiss it though. And uh, so as you can see, it'll pop up. You can watch a trailer right there for movies. And then you have these little buttons at the top. You have to go back to movies or you can click done and get out of Siri. Let's go back to movies here. We have all of these different movies that we can choose from. If we go into one, we can actually go down and see the show times and it'll tell us where it's playing at, what time, and then we can go ahead and click on that and get directions to it as well. It'll show us where it's at and we can route ourselves to directions using either 3D maps or regular maps. Now let's check out Siri with sports integration. So Siri in iOS 6 actually has the ability to give you sports statistics and game scores and stuff like that. Uh, so let's try out something that they actually did at WWDC uh, this year when they showed off iOS 6 for the first time. Who's taller, LeBron James or Kobe Bryant? One moment. If you squint, you can see that LeBron James is slightly taller. So, as you can see, we have statistics for both players on here, right on the screen, and you have all, all these stats right here about them, actually, and then you have their, their height and everything, and uh, pretty much a, a, every little stat about them. I mean, it give, basically gives you a player card here, which is pretty cool. Then we can go in and do things like this. Who won the last Miami Heat game? Heat overcame the Thunder by a score of 121 to 106 on June 21st, 2012. The Thunder are out of the playoffs. So there you go. The Thunder are out of the playoffs. It gives you a nice little scoreboard here, which is pretty cool. The graphic changes in Siri are definitely good, and uh, I think it gives it a nice look to it, and it makes it feel a little bit more than just uh, this little gray screen interface that Siri started out with. The next feature we have here is the ability to launch applications straight from Siri. So I can basically say open or play anything, and it'll open that app. So let's check this out. Let's try it real quick. Open Twitter. And you'll see it takes me straight to my Twitter timeline where I can check to see what's going on with everybody on Twitter. Another thing in iOS 6 is the ability to tweet or post to Facebook from Siri, which is a pretty cool feature if you're going to use it. And if you would like to use it, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is invoke Siri and tell her to tweet and then whatever your message that you want to tweet is. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Tweet. I am sending this tweet from Siri in iOS 6. Here's your tweet. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, I sent it. All right, so there you go. And now if we go to Twitter. 
you can see at the top here, we have, I am sending this tweet from iOS 6, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that, though. But it actually does work. And as far as Facebook goes, it's pretty much similar. All you have to do is say, post, I'm having a really good day today, to Facebook. Here's your new Facebook status. Ready to post it? So there you go. You see, I am having a really good day today, and I could have said yes to post, but I don't feel like going and delete everything. Also in Siri is the ability to check out restaurants and make reservations at them. Now, I know Yelp integration has been somewhat in iOS 5 already, um, but they've definitely extended its functionality in iOS 6. So let's go ahead and try to find a fancy restaurant and make a reservation at said fancy restaurant. Find me a fancy restaurant to eat at tonight. Looking for upscale restaurants. All right, so as you can see here, we have a list of upscale restaurants, and we will click on one. All right, so we have this little list here, uh, basically the ratings, the phone number, the website, the a little map, the address, and we have this make reservation button. So we can click this make reservation button here, and it'll open up Open Table, which you must have installed in order to do this, by the way. We can actually go in and find a table here, and the date and time, let's find a table. All right, so we have one at 5 p.m., let's click on that. And obviously you have to have an Open Table account to do this, but it's just another added ability within Siri. You can invoke all this from Siri and then, and then be able to do it from Siri. So we're not gonna go ahead and do that because I don't want to make a reservation at a restaurant I'm not gonna show up at. And then also with Siri, we do have turn-by-turn -turn navigation, which is pretty cool if you think about it. And I'm not going to go over that. I do have another video on that, though. If you guys would like to watch it, click this link right here. Meep, meep. Overall, I think Siri in iOS 6 is pretty cool, and this is just a quick rundown of some of the basic features that it will bring. Be sure to click this button and subscribe if you like this video. Meep, meep. And our Twitter link is here. Meep. Our Facebook link is here. Meep. So thanks again, guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. This is Dom from MacMixing.com, and have a great day.